considering he wrote the law. You understand what I'm saying? He wasn't like somebody the law was dictated to. He wrote the law. That he was like a put us, Hoover kind of guy. He was worse than Hoover in my opinion. He had more power than Hoover. What's wow. your boy's name that was down there in, uh, what he was at, uh, Sam, what's his name? Bull? Bull Carr. Bull Carr. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I think he comes from that same school. That, that type you know, and, and it, it, it certainly, while it didn't, he didn't have a direct effect on every individual, but his overall laws that he wrote into practice were just terrible. I encourage you to do some research on the guy. He's gone now, so you but his he's laws are still in guy. effect. He's evil. Uh, he wasn't just. He just wasn't a good guy. He wasn't. He wasn't a good guy. I mean, you know, there, there, there's like and case racism. law. Well, like nine times out of ten, his beliefs affected who? Us. Okay. As a people. Okay. I think that's what us you mean as a by country. No. As a country. No, do you think that President Obama has will, will make a choice, obviously, for to fill the position? I certainly hope so. Um, I don't think, and I, I don't think Obama make no decisions. Well, I'm just gonna put it out there. You know me. what? He, by law, he has the right to. Okay, and by law, he should. Yeah, he ain't off the clock yet. You know, he's not a lame duck president. That doesn't happen until you actually elect the next president. Yeah. And then he has that little lag time and all this. I don't He's think not he has been on the clock. Oh man, what are you saying? Talk to me about it. What I'm saying is this. I think I think there's a, I think there's a <laughs> You're just steering in a different there's direction. A, there's Wait a driving on. force a Hold on. that uh predicts or that propels this nation. The power structure behind the scenes. And okay. I think the president is merely just a pawn. Face. No, no, yes. I totally disagree with that. And I'm going to tell you why. I do. I'm going to tell you why. I do. I, while I do understand the direction you're coming from, I totally disagree with the premise of it because 
on the face, this president has had more effect on good things happening in this economy. When he took over, we were flatlined. We bottomed out. Let me ask you one question. They say the president is going to be the most powerful man in the world. In the free world. Yeah. Okay. So, why then? Does the actual, the most powerful people, uh, you never see them reference him at all? What? You never see him at the table with these guys. Well, let, let, me, let me explain. And, and to add to that, he only makes about two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Well, it's, it's not, it's not even about the money for him. It's more <laughs> about, it's more about the power of the position. Now, so when okay. you when you're sitting here, when you're sitting here saying that as a black man who's never had this office. Before, Okay, mm -hmm. you know I don't care what the rest of the world says about him because actually they're not in his position. Well, I'm not saying that it's not epic. It's it's a good time in history, right? But the power of that office, we've seen that the power of that office is not great. Well, I mean, it's a couple of them that If you want to use it as a bullet, so the power you can. I'm just saying this. But he's that fighting position all that. is not he's exempt. Fighting, he's fighting against people. In his own nation. Yeah, they didn't want him there in the in the first the place. Right. Thank you. Yeah, I, think, I think I think I think I like think we're kind of looking at thing. this it's very superficial. What I'm saying is this, okay? It's a driving force behind this whole system that we even call the American dream. Well, okay. okay. Now understand this: a lot of people say he ain't do this, he ain't do that, he ain't do that. If this is the most powerful position, we understand structure, we understand the... It's still politics. It's still politics. It's still politics. But that's for a reason. That's how it's structured, right? Right. But everybody thinks, okay, Congress won't let them do this, Congress won't let them do that, Congress won't let them do that. They're getting all this dice, right? Okay. That's not on accident. Well, we understand that. Okay. We well, understand then, that. If you talk about Kennedy, white guy. Right. You talk about Lincoln, white guy. Well, she These guys were well, uprooted, though. The white These guys... guys any one of you yeah, talking about black one, distribution so, you know. of wealth in right. any kind of way right. is uprooted. Well, I'm talking about flatline, kill, off the face of the planet. But you, you have to understand this too. They came from the money that you're speaking of. They the were thing bought, I'm saying is that, that, that those position is not exempt bought. from anything. Well, I, I disagree. So the power, I, I don't think, I, I, I just believe, the power, maybe to society, but to the people that run the country for real, for real, that the is is that that office he's, he's doesn't not, hold the not, power that make people believe. Okay, the office is not a bought politician's office. No, but they say he was the first one that was selected, not elected. Wow, yes, yeah. that's, that's that's kind of on a, yeah, on so it's, it's, yeah. It's a it's, it's a different it's, it's a different level. Like, what about the judge? It's, yeah. it's called yeah. about, you know, Well, I'm, I'm gonna come back around to mm -hmm. my original topic. Mm -hmm. My original topic was about who I thought Antonin Scalia was and who I believe. You know, a better position, with a better person should hold that position. Let me put it that way. Well, that should yes. be up. And, that should be up and coming if we have the president. Well, you need another that. third good marshal. Okay, <laughs> you need. You definitely need somebody in that Can position. We go dig them up? I wish we could. But like, like you really said, do. though, I wish we could. This, we this is him? this is <laughs> that remnant of people that you're talking about, as far as around in them judges' positions and stuff. Like, they chip off the old block. They come from. Slavery, like their ancestors, mm -hmm. like so they were in position, and they're going to be there, and they will kind of influence. Well, so it's, if it's, it's not a, him, it's, it'll be somebody it's else. It's a lifetime appointment. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll be it's somebody. It's one of these deals, and it's not all his fault. I mean, let me just put it like that. Oh, whose fault? Scalia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, please, man. Please when, believe when you, that when it's more. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So his Earth? passing is his passing going to make this a better situation for us? Honestly, I'm not sure. I think I might be somebody worse. So no, I think it could be somebody worse. Listen, but I'm just saying all the blood ain't on his hands. Because I'm telling you, now because he he's following orders as well. I've never heard this guy speak. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, but listen, I'm only speaking for me. I haven't heard of this guy until he died. You ain't, you ain't nobody. What's, what's, what, what Biggie said? You ain't nobody until somebody kill you. That's, right. that's what he said. Yeah. So now we know who this person is because he's dead. Okay. But everybody that, now, does, that somebody know who he okay. is. Yeah, yeah. But do you know who? Did you know who he was? No. 
Nobody knew who this guy was. I knew, but everybody you, you and somebody knew. knows okay. who he is. I mean, he made major so, player. So, so right and now, Ronald Reagan knew, and we we knew him. Right, you know what he was all about. Okay, we knew Ronald Reagan because he was president. But we, after bottom bottom out, let's go bottom out. We talking about Scalia again. I've never heard of this guy until now. You ain't nobody to somebody kid. Okay, but you might be following some of the rules that he institutes. Well, you are, and I, I'm not just gonna say him. Let me, let, you know what? It, Let's go you got on Clarence Thomas about this there. thing. You got Clarence Thomas. So who's next? Well, Judge Judy? Whoever they, it's got to be better than who they got up there now. Let me say this. Right now, this, this, this is some research for you to do, okay? <laughs> the the Rothschild, the, the father, the father of the Rothschild oh made gosh, a statement that he is. said, I don't care who the president is, I control the money. That's a huge statement to make. Fellas. Listen, listen. We 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 are aware of we are aware that there are power brokers behind the scenes. That takes a, nothing away from the office of the president. It takes everything away. It from does you. not. It, if you it have a man that said, look flat out, okay, it wasn't like he whispered it. It wasn't like he it was tweeted it. Donald Trump is making utterances every day to get into this but office. Everybody knows Donald Trump is a joke. Well, you might say that I'm now, talking about but somebody that's talking about some let's, let's keep it real, though. The you banking system Donald, that we use today, he that Donald created. Trump is a joke, but he's leading the polls right now. Oh, he ain't gonna win nothing, Yeah, okay. but I like him because he exposed the rest. Well, of I'm, I'm gonna say this, and, and on this note right here, I'm just gonna make it very clear my position: the president has the legal right and the moral responsibility to put a better person in that position. It wouldn't be a bad idea if he, if he, if they decide that he's not going to put somebody in that position, I nominate him for the position. Okay, so let's, but we're talking about something we can't control. We're talking about something we can't control. Let's talk about something we can control as black folks. What are we talking about? I'm waiting. Okay, so, can I, especially, especially, especially the brothers, why don't we date outside our race? Patrice. I can't answer that question. Patrice. No, no right. I'm I'm not, let me, let me, let me give us a reference. Let me, let me give us a reference. I'm going to tell, 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 tell you like this myself. Me personally, I love chocolate. That's you ain't me. never dealt yeah, with no white woman before. Me, me. You ain't never dealt with no white woman before. I love chocolate. White, they got white chocolate too, man. I love chocolate. Well, you got to specify well, what type of chocolate you're talking about. Ain't but one, ain't but one chocolate, dude. Yeah, but well, it's you ain't never had no white chocolate? No. Oh, okay. Well, it exists. Trust me. I like it. I like well, it. They, it I know exists. one thing. I know, you know, I've but talked I know to... Go ahead. I know there's people that, you know, like your Wesley Snipes and your other people, that's that's their preferences like, outside yeah, of the really race. Let me say this. Let me say this. As far as racial, interracial dating, Interracial dating. I got quite a bit of it going on in my family. I, I got mixed family from both sides. You know, my mm -hmm. grandson is actually uh, part of it. Like us on Facebook and add us as your friend. You watch a sports mob on YouTube.com. You like that? You like that? You can win a 7 up gift card when you subscribe to our YouTube page. If you complain all day, every day, you understand what I'm saying? If you want to attack people, you understand what I'm saying? This is the type of stuff where I'm not saying it doesn't happen in other races because it does. What I'm saying is this. A lot, a lot, a lot of, 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 of these things 
are or on other, in other ethnic groups, they are taught how to deal with, let me say this, it was a young African lady I was speaking with, right? She told me her responsibility was to prepare the food, to prepare the food for her dad. She said her responsibility was to prepare the food for her dad when he gets home. Mm -hmm. Okay, her her responsibility was to serve her father, mm -hmm. right? And I guess doing the different things around her. What I'm saying is their that's their culture. It's culture. So now, yeah. once she gets a husband, she's already in a servant but that's a mode. Situ but that's a situation of her. The husband is used to that type of culture. I'm talking. No, 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 but no. listen, we're, we're no, this is her dad. Like this was her okay, dad. Okay, but but I'm coming around to that. Now, in the black culture, and look, if the woman work like you work, ain't no cooking. Right. If you want to cook, go on there and cook yourself. Okay, but see, this is my I'm thing. I'm off. Right. Okay, this is my thing. I, I have, I have, I have people in my family, uncles, that love. They, they won't date chocolate. Mm-hmm. But 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 I see them gawking, gawking, or <laughs> or but listen, or they're not being pushed. I think it's a character issue. The character is what men look for. Okay. Let me tell you something. Now the outer appearance I want is good. To get it like I'm getting. But if you got a bad attitude, guess what's gonna happen? That's gonna get real old. Well, you know quick. what? You know what? Let, let me let me say this because I've been down in this. This road a few times myself. I dated a white woman mm -hmm. early on in life. Mm -hmm. Okay, dated a few of them in the military. Two passes. Two passes. Like he came, he came away. He Hawaii. came back. You know, once you come back, you know. You got Hawaiian. You got some small. You got no, some little small. A little more small. Hold on, wait. Y'all turning the show somewhere. I want to hear you. The deal is though. There are major differences between mm -hmm. the black culture and the white culture. Mm -hmm. And, well, that, you not know, it, it depends on the case. person. It not depends not on the case. person. Everything is case I dated by a case. white girl from New York, and she was anything but passive. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, she was more on the black side mm -hmm. than I would have ever thought, mm -hmm. okay? Being raised by black women, having black sisters, and, mm -hmm. you know, so on and so forth. And now having a daughter. My daughter brings this issue up all the time because I'm like, you ain't dating now. But no, no, you, you know? can you can love if you got the chemistry with an individual. I don't care if they're green, purple, orange. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is this: it's a set of qualities that I can identify with because I come from that culture. Right now, I know it exists in other culture because nobody's culturally exempt from anything. Right. You got bad attitudes in every culture. You got uh, homosexuality in every culture. You got thieves in every culture. You got bad cooks in every. You got, you got everything bad in every, every culture. They, but they say, but they say, but they say, the reason why uh, us as black men would date outside the race because she's nice. She doesn't have fake hair, fake eyelashes. She's not controlling. But this is the thing. This is the thing, right? Whoa, 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 wait! I grew this. Look, I can't peel off no lashes neither. You look, you can get a little close. They real. But doesn't that just, but doesn't that kind of insult you? I mean, doesn't then you no, find out? Look, 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 look. I've I've ran into in my thirty six years, right? I've ran into. You have some black women that grow up in a in a in a, you know. Decent community where it was a little paper. You know, they people had a little paper. Mm -hmm. They grew up in it, and they grew up differently. They grew up differently. Well, so, it, so it's not it's not so much of the fact to where is that it's a particular individual. It's a, it's characteristics because she's black, but you would think okay, she but, but, she she just passive. She's not real confrontational. You know, she ain't hogging about no money. But, but people's that, got money. Okay, come on, hold on, hold on. Now. Not to be making a whole lot of general statements. Every individual is different. Right. Every individual is different. So I don't care if the culture says you do things one way. Look, our black women should be set apart. They should be set on a higher pedestal. In my opinion, I, I, I think they should. I, I, I disagree. disagree. I, I, I disagree. think they should be. I and disagree. Why? why do you disagree? Because again, I don't see. I don't see it as a color barrier. You understand what I'm saying? You're not looking I'm at the saying, I'm saying it like this. Theory. I'm saying it like this. 
if you got a bad attitude, you got a bad attitude. Our women, I'm saying from my point of view, from a lot of women that I grew up around, and they need some schooling, okay? They need to be tutored on how to be a woman. But Let's sometimes, just be honest. Byron, some of that comes the femininity from bad is gone. situations already that That's they what I'm turn saying. sour. That's what I'm saying. So it's going to take a special individual to make them back sweet again. No, it's gonna take an individual a lot of patience. You know, let's which, just which, which, which a lot of us let's don't just, have. Let's just I say ain't saying it in you right now. <laughs> <laughs> let's just, let's Byron, just but it. there's a reason. Let me say this to you. There's a reason why you get up out your bed every morning and go dry that bus. There's a reason why you get up and do your things that you do. There's a reason why you're here. You know what the reason is? What? What's the reason? You married her. That was that, that sister you got at home. Well, there's a reason, if you told that to me, let me say this, and I might be wrong, but I don't think so. If you got that passive woman, baby, I ain't going to work today. All right, we'll stay home. I don't have nothing. That don't have I'm just saying. That don't have No, no, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When it snows Sunday, I'm gonna, kill, I'm gonna give it up to my wife. I thought I was gonna stay home. Why? The roads is fine. Go to work. Of course, you get to bring that chicken. Go to home. work. <laughs> just understand it's, something. It's, look, it's just not just the fact that something. you might not need it, but why? That's, like, that's in a way, sort of, that's being lazy. Now, yeah. if, if there's a way to do it, then damn it, we doing it. Push it. You gonna, I like, I like it. Now, let me, let me if say the this. snow was up past the door, then no, no man, yeah, ain't exactly. going to work. It is some beautiful black. Women out here, and this Blaney. is not of a, this is not about race, okay? This is about characteristics. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. everything's about race. Everything's about race. And if you don't think not. it's about race, then you said a mistake. No, when you talk about a man going on the outside of what he used to, or on the outside of his race, it's not because this woman is black and this woman is white. It's because of the different qualities that this woman embodies well, that when she don't embody here. You can't, you can't speak speak for here. all men. Who do it? Men have different reasons for doing the things that but they do. But here's the fact. Right. But the bottom line, everybody know when you connect, if you got some chemistry going with a person, then you got chemistry going with well, a person. Well, if you have an open mind and you can actually speak to that topic and you got good sense in your head, you fall in love with who you fall in love with. But a but lot of, a lot of, a lot of day, men don't recognize good women and a lot of dudes don't recognize, I mean, a lot of women don't recognize good dudes. Well, that's, so, that's an so, individual problem. That's not. But that's I'm just. Not these are reasons why they go outside because they're looking for something that they really don't want. That they don't know what they're looking for. They don't know. Oh, that they don't know. That, 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 that sounds like the person is just confused. Like I said, like, guy, I said, like, I said before, like I said, like I said, we don't of a moral support or emotional support. But why you? No, but we, no, on, on this particular oh, okay. passage. Am I lost? No, in this particular passage, he's talking about. He said that he doesn't emasculate him. She doesn't. She knows how to be a team player. Well, but let me, she don't talk to okay, him any so kind of way. Here we go. Let me let me give it to you. So, on on the woman's perspective, yes, he there is pushed. a role that a woman should play, and I'm gonna say that. And and men being a man, like I don't violate my husband's. Masculinity, so to say. Thank you. Even but it's, if it's it's a lot that do, though. You know a lot of women yes, that do. I, though, I right? know a whole lot. And what's their skin color? But it ain't about race. It ain't about no, race. It ain't about it, it. It really ain't about race. I think I'm just saying. It's because, we, well, that's just what we, we see more often. We see it. Yes, we see that more often. But we know it's in all cultures. I, I think, but we come from where we come from. I think they're making. You're watching Sports Mountain on YouTube.com.